There is another choice for making funeral arrangements. Central Funeral Services, located in Eufaula in Louisville, Alabama, with one-of-a-kind staff, thrives on professionalism and meeting the unique needs of families with a wide variety of services. Owned and operated by the Mixon family. Call 687-1060 or 266-5261. Melissa Mixon Smith, Licensed Funeral Director. Now for the next 30 minutes, you'll be listening to the most powerful one half hour of ministry that you'll hear all week long. The man of God encouraging you to go to church. And now for the next 30 minutes, uh, we're going right now to Dr. L.C. Green of Uchi Chapel, located in Seal, Alabama. Dr. L.C. Green in his own way. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you again this morning. I'm so happy to be here. God has, has truly been blessing us. Uh, in spite of being tired, I'm still fully energy this morning, excited about, about today, excited about today and what, what all God can will do through me this day. I pray that God would use me this morning uh, that he might be glorified and that I say something to encourage somebody. Father God, we come again this morning. Rejoicing not only in our hearts, but in our, with our lips, we come to say thank you for your God that worthy to be praised. We thank you for all of your provisions. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for all that you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm glad to be here. I give you time to get your Bibles. Those of you that have your Bibles, I'm going to share with you. Uh, this morning from Isaiah. Isaiah is in the Old Testament for those of you who are not quite familiar with your Bible. The 14th chapter. Go to the 14th chapter. We're going to talk a little bit this morning. I want to, Dr. Whitley mm -hmm. had a lady stop me the other morning, the other day, midday sometime. Mm -hmm. He said, Rob, I'm mad at you. I said, what you mad at me about? You, you ain't gave me no ticket. <laughs> like, but baby, you ain't starting off right. <laughs> you ain't starting off right. How many tickets you going to give away? I said, well, I don't know that. I don't know that yet. I said, it all depends. I mean, we can buy, you know. Uh-huh. Well, uh, uh, it costs you. I said, well, sure. <laughs> what, what, you, you, you know, but you're going to get mad at somebody. Uh huh. And you're asking for something. Right. That's kind of strange to me, man. That's kind of strange. We'll but, do that. But, but we want we want to have a, we want to have a, a full house for that, and we want to have a full house this afternoon. This afternoon we're going to be at uh, Zion Baptist right here in the city of Eufaula, and we're going to be we're going to be giving away some tickets to our listeners. We want our listeners to come. And then you see calling me. <laughs> no, no, no. And if you're going by the funeral home, you just you just got to come to Zion Baptist. That's right. I mean, uh, the rules are set. The people that pay for these tickets set the rules. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so that's that's the rules. That's the rules. So we look for you this afternoon at Zion Baptist. I'm, I'm going to be their guest. And last word I heard, Uchi Chapel Choir is coming. So you'll be blessed. You'll be blessed by that. I want you to. I want you to come. I want you to come this afternoon at 2.30 over at Zion Baptist over there on Stevenson Street. Is that Stevenson? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to come over there this afternoon. And, and uh, we, we got some tickets and I'm going to have some CDs. Uh, I'm going to have uh, Pastor Beasley. I talked to him last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the CDs. And we want to thank uh, Central Funeral Home for for all they do, for all their support, they make this thing possible. They make it possible for us Amen. to for us to give away these tickets and uh, to give away these CDs. They they write the check for this. All right. <laughs> so we want to <laughs> we want to thank them because they they want to they want to know the community want the community to know that they are concerned about the community and we're Amen. doing all we can to make somebody's life a little little happier, a little easier out there in the community. Uh, it goes far beyond taking care of your your loved ones when they when they die. Central right. Funeral Home want to deal with the living uh, and the dead. And if you see if you see fit that you need their service, they will give you professional service. Uh, they will give you professional service. They will give you kind service. Uh, 
you know, we all we all gonna need their service sooner or later. So, uh, so that's another choice. That's 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 what that's what the theme is. Another choice. You know, I got chance to meet Miss Brown over at Central Dreamer Home, and we just become friends. Did you take us some coffee? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I gotta do that. I yeah, gotta take us some coffee, man. Yeah, it's real, real nice, real nice, real, <laughs> real. That whole, that whole staff, that whole staff is real nice. And speaking of that, uh, I would that you would keep Sister Mixon in your prayers. I, I would that all of my prayer partners would keep her uh, in in your prayers. Keep her in your prayers. And and this is what I want. I want all of us to do. All of the listeners. I want you. Uh, I want you to starting tomorrow. At 12 noon, I want all of us to pray for little baby Grace mm -hmm. Thomas. I want us to pray for little baby Thomas. Uh, she, she, I, w I want us to pray for her. I want us to, I want us to pray for her. 12 noon, I want all of us that believe in prayer, mm -hmm. I want us to be praying for that baby. I want us to be praying for that baby. At 12 o'clock tomorrow, I want all of us, regardless of where you are and what you're doing, I want you to pray for this baby. I want you to pray for uh, that's brother, that's brother Grace and and uh, sister Grace and brother James Thomas' grandbaby. That's Suzanne baby, Suzanne baby. And uh, you know we talked to Suzanne a few weeks ago, and they was waiting for the report to come back. So I want all of us to pray for this baby. Uh, God is still working miracles. God is still healing. So at 12 o'clock, and also Miss Mixon, keep her in your prayers. Keep her in your prayers. Pastor Horn, you and your family, we are praying for you. Uh, Brother Jimmy Williams, we're praying for you. Pastor Godfrey, good morning to you, my dear brother. We're praying for you and your family. Yes, we are. We are praying. We are praying for you. This uh, is the person I saw, Brother Charles, yesterday, and he told me you was doing well and that you were there. I didn't get a chance to see you, so I'm saying good morning to you uh, on, on, on the radio and the TV this morning. Yeah. And YouTube. So, Miss Person, good morning to you. I'm glad you're doing well. Your husband gave me a good report, uh, and I'm glad he's doing well and you're doing well. God bless both of y'all. God bless both of y'all. I was so glad to to see him and know that you were there and that you were doing that you're doing well. God is still answering prayers. You're a testimony of what God can do. You're a testimony of what God can do. I'm going to invite all of you to 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 watch my, 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 my talk show, Gumbo Live, on Thursday nights at, at 7 p.m. on Channel 97. And then we, we got it on uh, YouTube. Uh, last week, my guest was uh, the district attorney, mm -hmm. Ben Reeves. And he talked to us about the process of, of a grand jury and what happened when you get charged. He gave us some very good information you know, so we could have we understand the process and know why things take so long. Mm -hmm. You know, th you know, one one of the things that really get a lot of folks upset and get them talking, the process takes so long. Right. And he explained that to us. And he also, Dr. Whitley, you know, he also explained he also explained sentencing. Mm -hmm. Why why two people can do the same thing and one get more time than the other. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go there with a clean record you know, the guidelines say you get a break, mm -hmm. you know. And also, he explained why why a person can be sentenced to five years and three months later you see him walking the streets, <laughs> you know. He explained all that. I would like to hear that. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it's, it's on the air. We're going to air it again. Okay. Yeah, we're going to air it again. And, and, and so I asked everybody to, to watch that. Uh, because there was some very good information. That's what we try to do on the program. We try to try to get some good information out there, mm -hmm. you know, that people can understand. Didi, I got your message, babe. I'm going to call you uh, as my cousin back there in Lake Charles. Mm -hmm. She called me, and I, I'm going to call her back. I've been busy all week, but I'm going to call her back. Uh, let, let, let me tell you about something that's, that's going on. Uh, uh, Y'all know about the big, and I thank you, Dr. Woodley, for making an announcement about the big saint we have the next weekend over at Uti Chapel Saturday. We're looking forward to, to that. And that Sunday evening, Pastor Beasley is going to be our guest. He's going to be preaching, and his choir going to come, and they're going to they're gonna sing, and quite naturally, he's going to give us a number two. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. But but uh, I, I want to tell you about something that's going on. Uh, 
the second Sunday in April. The second Sunday in April, that's the, that's the 13th of April, right here in the city of Eufaula at First African Baptist Church. Uh, they're having their Women's Day at mm -hmm. 3 o'clock. And uh, uh, the, dear, the, the first lady from, from Mount Level is going to be their guest speaker. Mm -hmm. Sister Butler is going to be their guest speaker. All right. I got a chance to meet them. Did you? Yeah. Good folks, ain't they? Had a revival this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's me. Missed. I missed it. I, when I was gone, I, I was gone. And when I was putting my announcements together last night, I, I, I put that down to announce today about the revival at Mount Level this week. And some told me to call Pastor Butler. Mm -hmm. And I called him. He said, man, we had a time last week. <laughs> <laughs> so man. I'm sure that they did. I, I'm sure that they did have a great. Now this is this is what I want to say, though, Doctor Whitley. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this is going to work because that same Sunday, we have a Family and Friends Day at Uchi Chapel. Mm -hmm. So everybody that don't go to Uchi Chapel, mm -hmm. they need to be at First African Baptist. Right. Because I'm gonna have a camera in there, see who's there. Uh oh. Just to see who's there. Uh oh. Now, 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 Sister Butler, Reverend Butler, y'all gonna have to send me Marcellus or somebody from the family. Mm -hmm. Somebody from the Butler family got to come to my family and friends day. Mm -hmm. Because I tell everybody that they my friends and I, I done invited myself into the family. All right. You, you know. So she's gonna be the guest speaker over there. Then somebody gonna have to come and, mm -hmm. and represent the family out of Lucy Chapel. Mm -hmm. So but uh, I'm gonna keep you reminded of that. Uh, you got plenty of time to make your plans. You got plenty of time to make your plans. Brothers and sisters, we, we, we need to we need to uh, assemble ourselves together. We need to we need to go to church. We need to assemble ourselves together where we might be strong, where we might be that we might be learning. Let, let, let me tell you what I want to tell you about the 14th chapter of Isaiah. Because see, too many of us let the devil use us. Too many of us act like the devil. And I, I wanna I wanna say that the devil has no power over God. The devil is not even in the same class with God. Amen. The devil is not even in the same class with God. The devil came hold God's socks. Mm. You understand? Uh, uh, the God, God don't have to speak to him but once. God tell him one time to leave you alone, and he got to leave you alone. That's right. God don't have to beg and plead, and God don't make deals with the devil. So you stop making deals with the devil. We, we don't have to make deals with the devil. L listen, the Bible says, especially when you read Job, that God got a hedge around us. Mm -hmm. And as long as we, we got enough sense to stand behind that hedge, ain't nothing the devil can do us. That's right. The only time the devil can bother us is when we come from behind that hedge. And sit down with the devil, play with the devil, talk like the devil. If you one that's complaining all the time, if you one that always sees something wrong, if you're always mumbling and grumbling and you're never happy, mm -hmm. that's because you're spending too much time with the devil. All right. See, you don't have to spend no time with Satan. Satan is a defeated enemy. And, and hear me when I say that Satan is your enemy. I don't care what he tells you. I don't care what nobody else tell you. The Bible declare that Satan is your enemy. Mm -hmm. And you know what's going to happen to your enemy. He's going to make him your footstool. All right. And you don't, have to, you don't have to bargain with him. You don't have to go out of your way trying to get along. You, you know, folks, folks go out of their way trying to get along with Satan. Mm -hmm. And Satan people and, and Satan angels. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. If Satan never speak to you again, that's fine. Amen. You all say, great. If Satan don't want to hang around with you, great. Mm -hmm. Satan is defeated, and a defeated person always trying to get somebody else to be, to be defeated too. All right. A defeated person always trying to keep you in a bad spirit. Yes. A defeated person don't want, don't want you to be, have no joy. And when you have a relationship with God, when you are born again and the Holy Spirit feel, then you feel of joy. Mm-hmm. That, that, listen, Dr. Woodley, and, and you know this, there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. When you are born again and the Holy Spirit feel, then that's joy. Yeah. Every day, all day long, it's joy. I don't care what's happening. I don't care what's happening on the outside. It's what's going on on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit ought to be stirring you up. 
and re let you recognize, man, you, you got the victory. You, you, you got the victory. Satan got kicked out where you trying to go. Mm. All of us ought to be striving to go to be with Jesus. Satan, Satan got kicked out of there and can't go. That's why he's so miserable. So I, I, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, don't, 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 don't. Go somewhere, go somewhere where the Bible is being taught. Yes. Go somewhere where somebody's teaching the Bible. And I guarantee you, that's going to uplift your spirit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care what you're going through, if you know that you're not going through it by yourself. If you know that you got the most powerful being there is with you, then, then why complain? Yeah. People complain all the time. Right. All the time, Dr. Whitley. It's either too hot or it's too cold or it's this or it's that. And there, there are some people who can never go through a conversation mm -hmm. without saying but. Mm -hmm. But this and but this and but that. Do you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and, and a child of God who, who know who they are. I, I, not, 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 a lot of folks don't agree with me. But man, it's joy. Mm -hmm. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. You yes. know, and, 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 and people say it all the time. God is good all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, if you believe that, if you're saying that because you believe it, then you ought to live like that. All right. If I, if I serve somebody who's good all the time, mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to worry about. That's right. You ought to have joy. Joy. I, 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 what, 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 is, what is there to complain about? If that the person who's good all the time is always dwelling in me. Mm -hmm. If he's always in me, then that, that's like standing outside with an umbrella and complaining about it's raining. Mm -hmm. You got an umbrella, so why, you know, mm -hmm. and an umbrella protects you from the rain. Right. And if you are being protected from Satan, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, and, and God protects us from Satan. Amen. God, 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 God and, and God teaches us through his word how to protect ourselves from Satan. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. See, Satan cannot come unless you invite him in. Yes. Now, he tried to force himself in, but you got greater power than he has. Satan will try to force himself on you. He's a rapist. He's a murderer. But he cannot do nothing to you unless you give in to him. Amen. And that's Amen. what Satan tried to do. He tried to get you to surrender and give in to him. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it's important that you go to church. So you'll know how to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to go because this is a spiritual warfare that we're in every day. Amen. And you need to learn how to defend yourself and, and, and your family. If, 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 you, if you're the head of your house, you ought to be in church every day. All right. Because you got your whole household to protect. That's right. That's right. Hmm? The, they, they cannot take over the house until they, until they, until they bind up the strong man yes. of the house. Yes. And if you are spiritually strong, Satan cannot rule your house. Mm -hmm. You're too strong. When you are spiritually strong, Satan cannot rule your children. When you are spiritually strong, mm -hmm. Satan can't rule your marriage. Mm -hmm. No, there's nothing Satan can do to you when you are spiritually strong. You got to eat your spiritual spinach. Amen. Will it give you muscles where, where, you, can, where you can fight the devil? Yes. And and, and let, let, let me tell you this here. Let me tell you how God works. When you don't want the devil there, and you want to say you want to fight the devil, mm -hmm. you know what Jesus does? He says, stand back. Mm -hmm. And he'll fight him for you. All right. And all he got to do is remind the devil that he already defeated him. All right, yes. Man, you don't want to fight nobody that don't already whip you. <laughs> and that's what that's what that's what he do. He intervenes for us. Amen. When when we don't want to deal with the devil. Jesus tapped us on the show and said, well, step back. I got this one. Mm -hmm. Our big brother would step in and say, I got this one. And he will. Mm -hmm. And all he got to do is remind Satan how bad he'd been whipped before. That's right. That's and right. Satan's going to flee mm -hmm. and leave you alone. Mm -hmm. He's going to go find somebody else he can sit down and have coffee with. <laughs> he don't want to have coffee with you. No, 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 no. Amen. No, no, because he know when he comes sit down next to you, Jesus is there. Mm -hmm. And where Jesus is, he can't be. Amen. That's why you got to choose who you want to have company with. Mm -hmm. You got to choose if you want to spend your time with Satan or you want to spend it with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole lot better when you spend it with Jesus. Yes, it is. Great benefits when you spend it with Jesus. When you spend it with Satan, number one, you're spending it with a loser. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? Mm -hmm. every, every moment you spend with Satan, you spend in time with a loser. Mm -hmm. And winners don't hang out with losers. All right. You just don't do it. You know, you know, you know, you know, this is the time of the year when they got all these basketball, college basketball, they call it March Madness. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they call it March Madness because there's always going to be a team that nobody expects to win that's going to win. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be what they call an upset. Right. Every, every, somebody ought to call you mad. <laughs> somebody ought to call you mad because you winning when they think you ought to lose. Amen. You up when they think you ought to be down. Amen. They've done everything they could to keep you down, but a child of God is not going to stay down. Now, I didn't say you wouldn't get knocked down. Mm -hmm. I didn't say you wouldn't get knocked down. But every time you get knocked down, he'll pick you up. Yes, he will. You know, I, I, I used to say, sometimes I, I, I'll be looking to get knocked down. Because I like the way it feels when he picks me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, so, so as, so as a child of God, leave Satan alone. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. And when you speak to him, he'll leave, he has to leave you alone. All right. He has to leave you alone. But what we need to learn is to leave him alone. You see, he rejoices when you when you when you start talking all negative. Mm -hmm. You start running folks down and doing all kind of you know mm -hmm. ungodly stuff. Right. And, and 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 I know I know the way America is going. God is not pleased with America. Mm -hmm. It can't be. I mean, we, 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 we try to get more ungodly every day. Amen. Every day you turn around and it's this and it's this and it's this mm -hmm. and it's this and it's that. And that's, that's not, not, and, 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 and the thing I try to tell folks, it don't have to be that way. That's right. It don't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, it's time for those of us who know the Lord. Mm. We need to humble ourselves and call on him and let him work through us to heal this land. Amen. We, we can't sit in the corner. We can't afford to sit in the corner. That's right. And we can't afford to be quiet. The world, the world is, is going to hell. And, and listen, when we talk about the world going to hell, that means some of our loved ones, some of our family members. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But this earth that we're standing on, mm -hmm. you, you, you ain't going to do nothing. To this, this God made this, and God's going to be the only one who can destroy it. That's right. But, but, but what about our family members that's going to hell? What about our family members that sit down and lay down with Satan mm. and we don't say nothing? What about our family members that get up every day and walk with Satan? Mm. Listen to his, his, his stuff on the, on the radio. Man, that's some ungodly stuff on the radio. Oh, yes it is. That's some ungodly stuff on TV. <laughs> it is. But we don't have to. We don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. you, you can turn it, man. You mm -hmm. can turn it away from that. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. But we got to be able to recognize it for what it is. We got to be able to recognize it for what everything that folks say is good ain't good. That's right. You know, uh, 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 I, 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 I watch how, how, how people accept any and everything. Mm -hmm. We can't accept just any and everything mm -hmm. just because somebody else is doing it. Amen. You know, you know, we, we, we are in the world, but we are not of this world, Amen. man. Amen. Yes. No, no. We are peculiarly made. We, 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 we are precious. Mm -hmm. we, we, we are precious. Mm -hmm. And you, you just can't treat precious people any kind of way. That's right. And, 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 and God, again, I tell you, God has the power. He has all power. Amen. And he don't have to beg Satan. He don't have to make no deals with Satan. And because we are his children, we, we have no business making deals with Satan. That's right. No. That's what you call compromise. Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. compromise, you're simply making a deal with Satan. Amen. You know, and, and then there's no such thing that that ain't too bad. Yeah, if it's bad, it's bad. Mm -hmm. That ain't too bad. No, if it's bad, it's bad. Amen. Ain't that right? Yeah. If it's bad, it's bad. It's bad. If it's bad, it's bad. If it ain't of God, then it's bad. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't care. Ain't no little bad or <laughs> halfway bad. It's bad. It's just. Yeah, bad is just bad. Now listen, listen to me. I want to, I want to, I want to say something else. I want to say something else to us, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more as we get closer to it. But, but Bishop Paul Martin and C.C. Winan is coming to Montgomery, mm -hmm. and they're gonna be at Alabama State at that new stadium they got at Alabama State. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be at that new stadium out there. Paul Martin, 
uh, and Bishop Paul Martin, I'm sorry, and C.C. Winer. They're going to be singing. C.C. Winer going to be singing. Bishop Paul Martin going to be preaching. Oh, okay. And, and singing. All right. But this is, this is what we, we, we want to get. We want to fill that stadium up. Mm-hmm. Uh, three different denominations has come together to sponsor this. Mm-hmm. But now here in New Fall, I want to say that there's a new pastor, Pastor Anderson, over at uh, New Mount Zion AME Church. Mm-hmm. Is that on boundary? I think, well, anyway, everybody knows where it's at. It's up there by, I think it's, it, 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 I think it's up there on Boundary Street, I believe. Mm-hmm. But, every, but, but anyway, there, there's, there's a new pastor there. And I, I, wanna, I want us to help her. Mm-hmm. I want us to help her. I want. I want us to start right now. That lady got about got about sixty tickets. Mm-hmm. She got about sixty tickets that 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 uh, she is required to sell. Mm-hmm. So let's welcome her to town by helping her with those tickets. Okay. How and much right? are they? the tickets? Are fifty dollars? Fifty dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But 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 what I what I want my listeners to do? I want them to send what they can. Mm-hmm. I want them to send what they can. You know, if enough of us ten, twenty, thirty, forty dollars, mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then before we know it, and then see what we want to do. We want to sell all these tickets, and and uh, I think the pastor, I think the pastor St. John got about a hundred, but he said he got his covered. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he got he got enough folks over there to take care of his. Amen. So I want to help this young lady here. Right. And then and what then what I want to do, as we get closer, and all these tickets are sold, mm-hmm. then we'll look at getting folks up there. Mm-hmm. You follow what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But uh, it don't make sense to try to worry about trying to get folks up there being sold with one or two tickets. That's right. But when, once we sell them all, mm-hmm. and the earlier we sell them, the quick, the easier it's going to be for us to make plans to get on some transportation. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Because yes. we want to fill up that stadium. Mm-hmm. This is a great opportunity for everybody that loves the Lord to, 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 to show up. Mm-hmm. And, and I always tell people, man, I, I, don't, I don't care who's on you know, I, you know, too many times we, we we worry about, well, so-and-so. I ain't going here, so-and-so. Mm-hmm. But we going out there to represent God. Amen. We going out there to represent God. We, we ain't got to worry about what style somebody got. Mm-hmm. You, you understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If they are sharing the word of God, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, anyway, I, I, I want us to, I want us to, I want all my listeners now to keep that in mind. I'm going to look for y'all this afternoon now at, at two thirty over at Zion Baptist, we're gonna we're gonna have a great time over there. My time is almost up. I got about a penny and a half left. <laughs> Father God, we thank you this morning again for for allowing us to come and share the word with you. We we thank you and we ask that this day from this day forward that everyone that sits behind this mic uh, would be blessed and that their message would go out and be heard. Uh, and the hearts be touched. In Jesus' name, amen. You have been viewing the most powerful half hour in broadcasting, Pastor L.C. Green, with the simple message of proclaiming to you to go to church. This program can be seen on Follow TV, on Channel 97, on Bright House Cable, with a cable box and on channel 115.5 on a flat screen TV with no box. This program is seen the first time at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. It repeats at 9 p.m. Wednesday night, and it is on demand on Ufala TV 1 on YouTube. Pastor Green reminds you once again to go to church.